Hey everybody, Sebastian here, and I just wanted to give you a quick demo on how to deploy a simple maintenance page using F5 iRules and uh, iFile. So here we have a simple website, just an HTML website on our screen that uh, automatically went up when our server went down. Uh, and when we turn on our server, so I just have a simple web app running in a Docker here, once the server boots up, uh, the pool member is online. So when we refresh the page, we get our website again. And when we shut it down, so I'm just going to pause the container. Uh, the pool is going to go down. And once the pool goes down, the website automatically um, loads the iRule, which is our maintenance page. Just wait a couple seconds for the health monitor to take an effect. There it is. So let's take a look at our code. The code itself is gonna be available on GitHub. Um, so feel free to take a look, edit it, add more stuff to it. Uh, I've split it up into three different full folders, uh, a planned upgrade page, a simple page, and an advanced hosted page. And I'll take a look on how uh, I've deployed this. So first, uh, we have our simple website, it's just an HTML page with some text on it. And then we have our iRule. iRule is very basic. Um, we are looking to see if any of the pool members are not active. If they're not, then we do an HTTP respond 200 with the content file um, that we were with the i file that we're going to uh, import. And we make sure we have uh, no server cache control and we don't store any cache on the website. So it automatically gets triggered. We also have the capability, if you uncomment this, it will log um, the client's IP and the URL requested if uh, you need that type of info. So what we have to do first is we log into the F5. We go to system, I file, and we click on import. We're gonna go to choose, we select uh, the website that we are going to import, so simple main, uh, and I already have it imported. So if you take a look, here it is, or you can write it in. Once we've imported that file, we go to local traffic and iRules and iRule files. So we have to convert this to an iFile. Uh, we can create it. So I've already created this, but uh, we can just do it again. Simple main uh, HTML. Because uh, I created it, it's already there, so we don't need to do that again. And when you want to edit this file um, and upload it, all you have to do is edit the iFile itself, and it'll automatically create uh, the iFile list. Once we've done that, we have our iRule here. Uh, so we just pasted that iRule into our code. Oops click on update, and then we apply it to the virtual server. So in this case, we have a virtual server called iRules.mynet.net. Here's the IP address. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna go to resources. We have our pool, and we have our simple uh, rule deployed. By clicking on manage, you can add more iRules uh, and change your maintenance rules here. Click on finish. So when we go to the site, it's online, let's turn on our uh, container. So we'll unpause it. So now that it is online, we can go back to the website and we can see that uh, OWASP Juice Shop um, website is online and it's working. What we can also do is we can uh, actually install a more advanced rule. We can host an actual web page uh, that's has more content on it, it's more dynamic on the F5. Um, what we do is we have a fairly simple iRule, nothing too complicated, uh, where we have the uh, index file, we have our uh, JavaScript, uh, we have our logo, our CSS, um, and for any kind of mobile devices, we can add more content in here. Um, and we have a more complex HTML website. 
right in here. And remember, all this is going to be on my GitHub. But what we can do is if we go to the virtual server, it's the same process. Um, say if I go to this iRule, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to have any pool members on here. I'm going to change this to uh, the iRule that uh, I have here, hosted uh, uh, website. Click on manage. Click on finish. Now when I go back to this URL, this website is generated on the F5. So it's a more um, prettier looking website that can be changed and it could have links to kind of disaster recovery, contact us, more information about uh, um, what a user can do when that website or service is down. So all this code is gonna be on my GitHub in the show notes below. Thank you very much.